Sometimes I feel like I'm not making roaches. Sometimes I feel like my only friends are the people in Twitch chat, the Kappas and Frankers. Lonely as I am, say Bible thumb now. Two, as we can see here, and he's primarily on Roach Hydra. Yeah, Look at this a, army, this is Roach army. Hydra. That's a great army. He's got at least five Storm there, and uh, it's going to be very hard for Sue to defend that attack here. He needs a perfect engagement, I don't know. It's a big Roach Hydra force, though. By the way, if Arstem wins here, he's in a qualifying match. Yeah, I don't, and, it's yeah. not even his year, it's his millennia. I want his name engraved well, on that trophy over there. In my opinion, Zer the, Sue. Sue is the best Zerg in the world right now. So this is an incredibly like uplifting start for Hastam if he does indeed win the series, of course. Oh, nice catch. Yeah, it's a nice Stasis Ward there. But that many Immortals, not even with plus three needed here. Hastam Star crashes on history, through. Tasteless. He 2 one Sue here. That's so sick. <laughs> wow. Oh that's my it? god. Yeah, that's so Why isn't balls? everyone as excited as I am? Why is every Dutch proto so good against Zerg, Roddy? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's because our channels are frozen and we ice skate all the time. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I have noticed about the StarCraft community is that they're really precious about their game. People are really precious about their game. Like, people have been hurt too much, you know? You know every every StarCraft fan's ex-girlfriend is, is Husky StarCraft and HD StarCraft and Day9. We feel really vulnerable these days, man. We're like, you know, one New one sign of it going it south and we're just we're gone. We're gone, you know, like it just doesn't work. It's like not another one. It's like Loco, I trusted you. How dare you upload something that isn't StarCraft? Are you gonna go the route of like Husky? Like like day nine? Like <laughs> Loco, don't be like my ex-boyfriends and girlfriends. <laughs> Loco, please. Don't worry, chat. Don't worry. I, I'm here. I'm here. I just want you to write me that it's not over, okay? You're way shittier than you think you are. Great decision as well from him. He's up one map here of Dutch Protoss. Let's see if he can do it here and close this series out. Map number two, Kevin the Cody. What Kevin the King. I know. Talk about, ladies and gentlemen, to the Intel Extreme Masters Katowice as the con competition rages on down over in the pit. Kraut is an offensive term for Germans? What? Really? Wait, really? I guess they were normal Marines. How about that? Welcome back, everybody, to the Intel Extreme Masters Katowice. We just had our last match of the day. It was another Protoss versus Protoss, where Neeb came, uh, Neeb came out on top uh, over patience. So first of all, congratulations, Neeb. You're moving on. You've qualified for the group stage. We could we could all see how happy you were. Uh, just, I guess, first things first, what's going through your head right now? Uh, I never expected to make it this far, honestly. Like, I just wanted to get as much money from the <laughs> bracket stage as possible. But I never expected to qualify, so I'm really excited. Well, I appreciate the honesty, but I feel like a lot of times when I speak to you, you always feel, it seems like you're not as confident in your play, but you always seem to win when it matters most, so... the game at GameStop. Yeah, I understand. I, I understand, yeah, completely, yeah. 
Yeah, just bought the game too. Yeah, of course. I yeah, I understand. I get it. You stream snipe, just bought the game. I, I get it. I get it, bro. I get it, man. Most badly. One of those overlords got taken out. The others are a little bit bruised. So Showtime's just leaving a few units back here to deal with those overlords. But and now he has on the ground. Now Sero could try to hit one of the other bases and go for some sort of a contain. But there are stasis traps everywhere, getting a couple of Hydras and Roaches at once. Cannons as well. Showtime is weathering the storm so far. Speaking of storms, plenty of them still available here for Showtime. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of which, one of those High Temple go down, these Roaches, they don't care about the weather, they can deal with a storm or two. It's the Hydras and the Lurkers that, are, that he really wants to get rid of though. I mean, Showtime is getting closer and closer towards a maxed out army. He's got Tempest on the way. You know how when you go fishing, you have like a fishing line and then you have like bait from the end of it? It's like, I don't listen to mainstream music. I listen to progressive Psytrance metal death rock. Okay? I'm different, I'm special, I'm intellectually superior to you. I watch Rick and Morty. Okay, these... You, not all Terran players can understand the high IQ, stim with no marines, liberator range against viking, building armor, opener. Okay. Can you watch this real quick? Permanent ban, 24 hour ban. Ready, because he has got a rough series ahead of him. It's not going to be a pushover by any means. This is the multiple time WCS champion we're looking at. Wow, fast what? wall off here from Hastum. All right, in PvP, okay. This is actually something that's quite uncommon. He's actually going to go Nexus first. The madman. Did someone give him a memo that Neep is actually a first player? <laughs> yeah. this, is a, this is a PVC build here from Arsenal so far. That, yes. You know, and generally, it's the two gateways uh, on the high ground, which is what Neep's doing right now. Now, with shield batteries, it is possible to hold almost any sort of early, early aggression. The problem is that if Neep would scout this very early, there are some really bizarre things that Neep could do. Let's say, like, he could proxy a Stargate, then you can have two Oracles pressuring the main base, and you can have a three gate aggression on the low ground. And then I don't really care how many shield batteries you have. You just don't have the amount of units to actually properly defend in both places. I am so curious to see what good old Alex is going to be those big brood lords. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, again, no pressure. Over, over, uh, over abundance of units here of Nave and Hostum just doesn't have any firepower. GG. And uh, a little bit of swear words there from Hostum at the end. I have no idea what I just want. They yeah. kind of get the reaction, and then you shade the Adepts in the Natural at the same time, but on its own, definitely a little bit of a YOLO, uh, what he's been known for. You only live once, and uh, that rings ever true if you want to have patience Adepts or Stalkers. You, you're gonna...